Hey guys, welcome back. So as in the previous video, I have told you about the OOPS concept. So how we implement use, okay? So I have given you a very brief overview of it. So in this video, I will show you with some of the example and I will also tell you about how to create classes, how to delete it, okay? So it will be a very interesting video, guys. So watch this video till the last. So everything would be very much clear to you guys. So now just simply begin with oops. So as yesterday I've told you in the oops, we make a template. Okay. And then we edit the template and use according to it. So I think that this thing is very much clear to you guys. Guys. So our first part is like how to create a class. So let me write it down on the screen. How to create class. So guys, so guys, creating the class is very simple. Like for an example, guys, just focus, focus on the screen. Okay, that you just have to just start with the class and give the name. Okay, now suppose I want to give the name Dev Town. Okay, and then after it, guys, like including this semicolon is very much important. Okay, so now coming to the next line and you have to give a value to it suppose x i have given to the 5 and then after it if i print okay guys i hope till here everything is very much clear okay now if i print here okay guys if i print here there will be an intention error okay so i will print it wrong so that you can get the thing why it is happening See guys, I am getting a error here. So if I put it here, see guys, now it is showing us the class main dev down. Okay, so the class is being created in it and you can use it in our program the further. Okay, as I have told you, a class is like an object constructor or we can say a blueprint for creating objects. Okay, and now coming to the part, guys, how we can create object okay guys i hope that this class is very much clear to you guys and now now we use now we can use the class names my class to create objects okay now let me show you how it works guys okay let me copy this through lines from here I will use it. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, suppose I have to create a class here. So, suppose I want to name a class here. Suppose D1. Oh, sorry. Object here, guys. So, D1. So, just simply I have to like use this equal to. And in this bracket, I have to. Oh, sorry, there will be no bracket. I have to just simply write the name of the class in the object and after this this two double bracket and then just print and in this print d1 dot x guys see guys now it is giving us an output 5 so now what we are doing here guys okay so now we are creating an object named d1 here and giving us a value x so that's why we are getting the five here guys okay and now guys there is a one statement in the python which is called as pass okay so now what's the work of this pass so having an empty class definition like this would raise an error without the pass statement okay so let me give you with an example guys suppose i have created a class here name suppose python okay fine guys and now if i print the pass here and if i run this see guys it is not giving me any error okay so this is how if we are giving the pass so it the compiler will not give an error i hope guys that this thing is very much clear to you and now guys other function which we will learn today this will be defined as the let me write it on the screen 
in it okay guys you may be familiar with this before okay that's not an issue i will tell you this thing from the basic guys so now what is this like work or the property of this init function so it is used to understand the meaning of the classes we have to understand the built init function okay so in the easy way we would say that it tells us the meaning of the classes okay let me show you an example suppose guys we are having a class name suppose shop okay so now coming to the next line so we define the like init function here okay guys i hope that till here there is no issue guys okay so now in each which we are having suppose sale and the comma employee suppose the next item we have stock okay so as i have told you that what is the work of this init function so it is giving us a meaning okay we can simply like see and understand that it is having a like information of sales employee and stock i hope that guys this thing is very much clear to you and so now coming to the next line guys it is very simple okay suppose now we use self dot and the sale okay guys and here will be sale and again we have to write it for the employee okay guys it is very simple this is how you going to use this init like function in your program and in and now we have to create an object i have told you we can create object very easily suppose i have written the name of the object p1 here and give it an like equal to and then the shop we have to start with the like class name shop in in this bracket we would have suppose we have a sale of 2000 after the employee is suppose rahul okay rahul is not in my name guys okay now we have to just simply use the print statement guys it is not very much hard you just have to do the some basic practice and after it everything will very much clear to you because guys practice is like necessary practice makes perfect so without practice it would be very difficult for you okay now dot employee and if i now print it wait guys it is giving me an error okay i have not added the sample on here okay wait a guys wait a second guys i have mixed <laughs> like program with the previous so let me correct it okay guys there was like bit of the confusion i have mixed the program with the previous one so here we have the self employee stock okay then we have just given that self employee is equal to employee and the stock is stock then we have created the object for this class shop in which we have like kept the information like for an employee and like rahul and we are having a stock 200 and then we have just simply printed that like employee and stock with the help of this object okay guys so please don't confuse it was just a <laughs> confusion in the upper program i hope guys that this thing is very much clear to you guys and you can also run the program like the previous i have written you just have to change that self in this 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 i have changed it here because it would be difficult to like i have to tell you more things on this topic guys if there is some like issue on any point you can definitely tell me in the comment box okay so this the things will be very much clear now coming to the guys next property which is let me write it down the screen which is modify okay object now what this thing stands for okay suppose i have to update the stocks from 200 to 500 
so how can i do that guys it is very simple just start with the that name of the object which you have created p1 dot like i want to update the stock so that dot stock and wait a second i have written it here no issue guys okay and after this talk you have to just given the equal to and then the foot like i want to have the stock 500 and we have the print stock here now if i like see guys if i run this code i am getting it as a updated 500 so you can update the anything the object in the class okay and now suppose if you want to update the employee also p1 dot employ guys it is very simple thing okay now i want to change the employee name from rahul to suppose raj and now if i print this p1 dot employ wait a second guys okay i have not like put that two comma here you have to keep it in mind and guys these little things will give you an error in your program and trust me guys the error are very hectic to solve and <laughs> error are very like obvious it will definitely come if you are running up any language in a very good manner okay so this is are the few property guys i hope that it is very clear to you how you create the class how you create the object the past statement the init and how you modify the object okay guys i hope that you will like this video and please subscribe to our channel devtown